And I'm Howard Phillips Dovecraft, and today's question comes to us from Scott, who realized recently that my original earthly existence managed to overlap with the series of animated shorts known as Looney Tunes. Uh, given this coincidence, he wants to know what I think of Looney Tunes and how they have developed over the decades. Now, it's true, I, I am aware of these rather delightful animated shorts, um, but I imagine many of you know of Looney Tunes largely from having watched it on Saturday morning television or any of the other ways it was broadcast. But during my day, it of course was shown with movies. You would go out to the cinema and they would show a bit of news and they would show cartoons. And that is where they got their start. Um, during my life, of course, so we got to see the development of Porky Pig and, and even Daffy Duck, but of course I died before that true paragon of the genre came about, Bugs Bunny, a rather mythic, almost trickster god figure, or if you prefer, a sort of lagomorphic Nyala Dortep type. He managed to take this mindless entertainment and transform it into something altogether other and fantastic. And the end result is that it has become such a cultural phenomenon. It's not only uh, programs and, and, and books, but also video games and toys and, and even a film which, in many ways, is one of the most perfect distillations of cosmic horror on the cinema. I mean, the tale of, of strange interdimensional beings that come and rob humanity of all that makes us us. Plus, Wayne Knight. Now, one thing I do find truly fascinating about Looney Tunes is how, in many ways, they were a cultural education. They, they taught children about uh, John Steinbeck or Wagner, but then, as the decades went on, they became the culture that was being discussed and regurgitated in future animated works. I'm thinking specifically, of course, of uh, Tiny Toons and Animaniacs, uh, my personal favorite, Pinky and the Brain. Oh. They're Pinky and the Brain, yes, Pinky and the Brain. One is a genius, one has allowed himself to be consumed by endless madness. So I think what this suggests is not only how the 20th century became so obsessed with its own cultural undertakings, but how specifically Looney Tunes tapped into something deep and primal and altogether terrifying about the human experience. Not bad for a bunch of strange little animals shooting each other in the face. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.